and gentlemen, in the age of startups and rapid technological evolution, the transition of leadership within established companies holds a significant place in the narrative of business continuity and innovation. And today, we will delve into the story of Karan Singh, a second generation leader poised to join the leadership ranks of a prominent technology solutions providing company with his father. Karan, currently serving as the business manager for cloud solutions at AeroPC Networks, embodies a commitment to delivering cutting edge technology and strategic innovation and helping business harness the power of cloud. He leads a dedicated team in providing end-to-end -end cloud services that empower organizations to thrive in the digital age. Collaboration and partnership are at the heart of Karan's approach. And as he works closely with his clients to align their business goals with the right cloud solutions, always striving to exceed expectations and deliver tangible results. Beyond his role at Arrow PC Networks, Karan is a lifelong learner and a firm believer in the transformative power of technology. He's here to connect with like-minded professionals and share insights and explore opportunities to drive innovation in the world of innovation technology. We're excited to have you here today, Karan. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, I can't see. Thanks for having me. Brilliant. So Karan, I'm going to jump right in and, you know, want to know a little bit more about vision and innovation. As a next gen leader, how do you see yourself driving the company forward in this evolving technology world? Can you share a few strategies or potential areas of growth that you believe are essential for the company's success? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I'm deeply committed to driving the company forward in the you know ever evolving landscape of technology. Uh, and like my vision revolves around harnessing innovation to not only adapt to change uh, but to lead it. Uh, like one of our key strategies involves, as you mentioned, capitalizing on the immense potential of cloud solutions and SaaS, SaaS solutions. Uh, so recognizing the transformating transformative power of these technologies, we are strategically partnering with some of the industry leaders to bring their solutions to our customers. Uh, and by integrating these offerings into our current portfolio, uh, we are not only future-proofing our business, but also positioning ourselves as pioneers in the cloud and software as a service vertical. While my role mostly involves uh, evolves around this uh, in figuring out, you know, how we can best position ourselves in this space. At the same time, I do recognize the importance of building on our existing strengths. Therefore, we will continue focusing on the hardware infrastructure piece of the business as well and ensure that we keep growing in that segment as well. Uh, and I believe that it's important to give our customers all the options that are available to them and to enable them to utilize all the different modes of consuming technology. Uh, so that's why I believe a hybrid solution would be the best fit for most customers moving forward. We'll also build our capabilities around that and keep that in mind while we decide our way forward. That's actually quite brilliant. Karan. And coming from a young Turk like you, it's impressive and inspiring. Um, in your assertion to the question that I just asked, you focused upon adapting to change and that, that's where I want to lead my next question to. Uh, we all know that technology is constantly evolving and there are rapid advancements and shifts in industries. Uh, to that effect, how do you plan to guide and steer the company through these advancements? Do you have any measures in mind to ensure that Arrow PC Networks remains adaptable and competitive? Yeah, you know, the technology industry is moving at a very fast pace and like there's changes happening every single day. So that's why we do have a multifaceted approach towards adapting to this, to this change. Uh, so I encourage all of my co-workers and I do the same. Like we, we try to monitor the industry shifts and discuss how these have implications on our business. And I attend a lot of industry conferences, OEM webinars and product launches. So I believe that allows me to sort of uh, stay at the front and, you know, be aware of everything that's happening in the industry. So I encourage all my co-workers to do the same and to learn as much as they can. And we also really encourage having informal conversations around technology around the office. So I believe that just helps you, disc uh, helps you brainstorm with each other 
and to you know bounce off of each other's ideas when it comes to a more formal approach we are investing heavily in employee training and development programs so in short we want to ensure that our workforce is equipped with the latest skills and knowledge required to navigate the ever evolving world of technology so i believe that by fostering a culture of agility and innovation we are not only ensuring our competitiveness but also driving sustainable growth that's quite brilliant and and one masterpiece of an organization that you've set out to actually take over and you know hit the floor running with and while we're doing that um, unlike startups there's a legacy here to build on considering your family's history in the business and and everything that your father has done and laid the groundwork for who do you intend to build upon that while injecting your unique leadership style and ideas into the company yeah so you know with a rich history in the technology business i see my role as building upon the solid foundation that has been laid by my father uh, so i want to bring fresh perspectives and modern leadership strategies to the organization Uh, and while respecting the values of integrity customer centricity and excellence that have been the hallmarks of our success and continuing to follow those i am also focused on introducing new ideas and fostering a culture of collaboration and innovation uh, so as you mentioned you know startups are being talked about a lot and they are very exciting uh, but i feel like taking a legacy forward can be as exciting and challenging and i like to draw on the startup culture like i feel that they are able to create a very good environment that fosters innovation so even i prefer a more informal work environment and have been trying to slowly tweak our company culture so you know it could be something as simple as just addressing each other by name instead of sir and ma'am uh, so i feel like just having a more friendly atmosphere around the office brings everyone on the same plane and it allows like a more free flow of ideas Uh, so you know i believe a strong leader should have a clear vision and a clear goal uh, but you should refine that vision based on the insights that your teammates have uh, so i believe that a more friendly approach allows me to do so and at the same time i recognize that the traditional way of doing business uh, especially indian businesses have a very conservative approach and this allows them to generate a roi that is unmatched Uh, so while i want us to start taking more risks i do recognize the importance of being intention- intentional about those risks uh, and ensuring that there is no wastage so you know my goal going forward is to fuse my beliefs based on my experiences and the exposure that i have had with the with the beliefs that our comp- organization has been run on so far that's actually you know brilliant and i couldn't agree with you more and while you know the building blocks of the organization have very articulately been put by you i'd like to focus my next question on market positioning and differentiation uh, within today's technology landscape how do you envision positioning your company to stand out from the rest are there any sectors or industries within this that you intend to target in order to distinguish the company attract uh, new clients or focus on new markets Yeah, so when you talk about the sectors like i have been studying our current business and i have identified that mid size companies seem to be our sweet spot so while we would like to continue to focus on those we would also like to start focusing more on larger enterprise customers and startups as well and while startups and enterprises are on the different sides ends of the spectrum i believe like we would like to focus on both of them because they are usually the first ones to adapt to change and to adapt new technologies and i have also recognized that we have a strong hold in the manufacturing sector or uh, like we have a lot of fmcg and healthcare companies and like education institutions as well uh, but going forward i would also like to bring some it and ites organizations as our customers or uh, it's the same reason behind it like i believe these are the first ones to adapt to change so when it comes to you know playing with new technology or when it comes to like generative ai for example these industries are the first ones to adapt to change so we would like to start working with them more and when it comes to differentiation i want us to stand out based on our technical capabilities so we are not interested in merely reselling we want to add value to each transaction and enhance the customer experience by augmenting the solutions with our own service services and in-house expertise 
So with us, the customer doesn't just get a product. They get a comprehensive solution that we help them design, deploy and manage. Brilliant, Karan. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I have a parting question for you to kind of bring this all together. You know, as we look ahead at the future of technology and business, what according to you, Karan, are the emerging trends or advancements that you foresee reshaping the landscape of cloud solutions over the next decade? Oh, like I believe generative AI is definitely the big one. Uh, like it is going to have an impact on every single business process that we currently have you know from just helping us with our emails to having like much more bigger implications when it comes to like data analysis or things like that uh, so i believe gen ai is definitely going to change the way we work uh, and then other than that there are a lot of other technologies that are going to you know bring about big changes as well uh, like blockchain technology has been around for a while uh, but there are new use cases that are being developed that are really going to have an impact on our life that's quite brilliant well thank you very much Karan for joining us in this conversation as a visionary leader in the realm of technology solutions uh, we see that your insights and passions for driving innovation actually have quite a strategically mapped out path for the way forward for our PC networks and uh, in the broader landscape of technology as well uh, you know how you envision the ever evolving nature of the digital age and your commitment to delivering cutting edge solutions um, is absolutely commendable thank you very much for joining us in this conversation on the digital dialogues yeah thank you Gansi.